We have a super duper guest in the building, and our guest is a Nigerian based visual artist who works with feature hyperrealism, abstract, shape drawings, fashion designing, art direction. He shows great enthusiasm for the sparkle and austerity brilliance of oil on canvas. It has often been noted that his drawings contain underlying messages which he always tries to pass across in his works. Mm. Sly thinks himself a social observer who understands the fortuition. This is your English, you want to stress my brain <laughs> for two i wrote it myself guys <laughs> for two years inevitable nature of mistakes um using variety of artistic languages to express the travels of human encounter and experience which creates a paradigm in the affairs of the world continually through the years, he has developed a technique for his art. I create as I speak, he says. He says, and his works are, um, he says, and his works are tantamount to that. Let us welcome the one and only phenomenal artistic Sly Megiddo. <laughs> What's going on, bro? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you very much. Too, one guy. Wait, let's see. What, what, what course did you study in uni? Okay, me, I studied business management. Where did your English come from? Because you, you get when <laughs> they read your bio, it just the stop my authenticate, pop 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 preach. You have to make it tight. Mm, you know, like that. it's yeah, packaging, yeah. Okay, right? So did, did, you always, did you always know that while you were doing your business administration, which is not a creative yeah. um, outlet, did you always know that last time I'm still going to end up with art? No. Okay. I, what I, happened? I, I What's the story? Uh, the story was I, I, I was studying business management. And I've been into entertainment like show, showbiz, then in school, bringing artists yeah. to you know perform, make money from there. You get me? So I, I was going on that path, and I had a lot of creatives around me, like music artists and all that. Mm. So I, I, I ventured into you know business management in terms right. of managing an artist. Right. So from mm. there, I, I was managing an artist. I kept on doing that, doing that until I discovered myself. Mm. All right, so let's assume like you were, because, okay, I don't like to ask people how much do you charge, but I always just like to get like an estimate. So let's assume this little corner of us, of ours, right? If you had to do some artistic stuff all around to make, you know, the sets more beautiful, like how much would you be charging? Well, <laughs> what if I say I, I charge in dollars? Oh, you know, wow. it's fine now. <laughs> what if I tell you that Plus TV is an international company? Yes, we have domiciliary. <laughs> mm -hmm. What if I tell you that as well? Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah, yeah. give us an estimate. Because mm. people will want to know. Yeah, true, true, true. Uh, taking a look around. Not everywhere, just look at but where we are. Actually, it depends on what you want to do, uh, mm. because I, 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 I also use this um, fluorescent spray for mm. graffiti. Uh, so Will you be doing anything for us today on the show? You know, something that you know people can just... Yeah, I, I always come with my marker everywhere. Again. Okay, so you need a body to work just on. Just a body to You have mine, my guy. <laughs> you have mine. Let's keep really talking while you know you yeah, keep doing yeah, your I thing. Are you sure? Okay, let me come closer. Okay. I'll come closer to you. All right, so, you know, tell us about your art, right? Like, how did that come about? At what age did you realize that, man, this is my thing, and what was your first piece? Okay, uh, I realized my, my art skill from a very young age, like as a child, you gave me, but I had a lot of talents then. Uh, I used to play football, tennis, swim, a lot of things. So mm. art wasn't really that thing because I really didn't see any artists doing it at mm. that time, mm. you gave me. So I wasn't inspired on that level about art. Yeah. So I knew nothing about art and I grew up in, in, in the ghetto where art, art is not really a thing for them, mm. you gave me. So, but, uh, I got inspired because of my business sense, the business mm. ideas, the mm. business I was studying mm. at that moment. And mm. I knew that the art industry is uh, lacking is lacking that structure and there, there are not much people in it. And my skill was that big, I had mm. to you know, focus on it. So that's that's what got me into the art. Okay, so did you take any special classes? Because I know that with art, it isn't just really about throwing ink and red paint here and there. You have to at least have some mm. basic understanding, mm. right? Some skills, what brushes to use, what pressure or whatever, whatever. So like, did you take any classes when you realized that, or how did you harness your skill to make it this professional? It's really Trust me, it's hard work. It's hard work. Mm. I paid attention to myself. I, I I did. There was no opportunity for me to you know meet anybody who could have you know taught me anything i wanted wow. that i wanted the galleries to pay attention i wanted mm. people to look at me but 
I had nobody, so I had to just, you know, focus on my thing, focus on myself. And trust me, I learned myself through YouTube videos and mm. everything. So I started just doing my thing myself. All right, so let's talk about the also collection, yeah. right? Now, let's talk about that. The name, first of all, is different. It's very African. It's very Lagos-like. Lagos -like. Do you understand? Like, <laughs> the also collection, you know, what inspired that? You know, like I said, like, I, I grew up in the ghetto, so you know every What ghetto, ghetto to be precise? Ojo. Ojo. Yes. Yeah, Which ghetto? Ojo na ghetto. Ojo na ghetto. Eh, oh, I never reached there. I'm repping the Sabo people. Sabo. SOP, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. yeah, so... Uh, is that in Lagos? Yeah, it's in Lagos. Somewhere. That's where Lasso is. <laughs> Last season, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, last season, Nigeria. See, I know my state. Like Bella Shmoda and Co. Cool, yeah, from Mojo, so, yeah. Uh, that's at that period, you know, Joe. Uh, I see a lot of people hustle in you know, Joe. There's mm. this Alaba International in you know, Joe. There are mm. a lot of hustlers. So, mm. hustle has been the thing that you know that, oh, yo, yo, Sly, I'm a hustler. I want to hustle this out and do it big. But I've always been dreaming big mm. uh, from from child, from age eight. I've been dreaming big. I wanted to do it different from what I, I was seeing around me. and Trust me, uh, art gave me a reason to do it. Mm. So I had to tell my story with the hustle collection so people can understand what it takes to be an hustler mm. like me. So All right, so there was, the, okay, go on. What's the, record, what's the um, recognition you've gotten so far? Do you think that there's been a response? Like, is there a market for you? Are you progressing? Do you think that it's something that you can sustain? Yeah, definitely. I'm doing this to like to the end times. Yeah, I'm I'm gone again. Mm. So I feel like we don't have the Da Vinci, we don't have Picasso, we don't have mm. Michelangelo, we don't mm. have Andy Warhol, and yeah. But we have Sly. Yeah, we have Sly. So yes. that's that's, that's yes. what I want yes. to drive to people right now. Mm. This mm. art industry, we need to make a change. We need mm. to put make it. Put and food put in structures mm. as well. Put structures so that the kids with this talent can do something for themselves. They I like the out. fact that you touched on that because just, you know, before you came and said, we're talking about MI who visited the police station and we're talking about the lapidation state of, you know, how everywhere was falling apart, you know, there wasn't a good working condition. And I know that is that also affects the, you know, creative industry yeah. where, you know, our historical monuments, our artworks and stuff like that are not being preserved enough. Matter of fact, if you have enough Money, you could probably buy the to do our original house. Yeah. Do you get what yeah. I mean? Like, there's really no protection and all of that. What structure would you put in place if you know you became like a president of a body to look after creators in Nigeria? What structure? So we are already doing it. I'm already you know embarking on several processes. I've been she, you know, talk your talk. <laughs> I like that. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've I've been doing different things, testing different things. I've been in this game for four years now, mm. and I've been trying new, new if I was, things. Sorry, if I what you just do to me? Did I just do this? <laughs> <laughs> like for real? You're, Anyways, you're go on. Yeah. So, I've been trying new things. Uh, I, I had little of IT in my business mm. when I was studying, just like business computing. Mm. So mm. Uh, I've been this IT guy who likes to add IT with creativity. So that's what I've been trying to do now, bringing the technology and creativity together so that we can you know, do something better mm. and greater. So now, I like the fact that you brought in technology as well. How do you think technology helps this? Because this has a lot to do with your handwork. Yeah. I know technology can help you promote and stuff, but what else can we do with technology when it comes to the art industry? There are a lot of things. We need to take art to this level where it is digitalized mm. properly. So if I just want a tattoo, they just print it on my skin. Yeah, it's digitalized properly because, you see, <laughs> that's, that's what helped the music industry. Yeah. I, I have a lot of music friends and I've been able to study them. Uh, see what helped them. From buying CD to downloading onto exclusive, mm. now mm. to Apple Music streaming. Yeah. Yeah. So you see, they started from the hardware, the CD. So you're saying that if you can get your artwork digitally, digitally. like if you, could, if you could even sell your artwork yeah. digitally, it, it takes to another it level. Takes to another level. Right. I, 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 there's, there is a notion about art though, that it's for the elites, yeah. right? There's yeah. this mm. misconception true, true. that yeah. you must be bought for Exhibition and stuff this now. Yeah. Even yeah. the gallery is a very like um, sophisticated, upper Please. class. Very gallery, bougie. Which makes you very, in quote unquote, out, fish out of water, yeah, right? Yeah. Because of the story that you've mentioned and stuff. Do you, um, how does that make you feel? Like, how do you interact with knowing that you're not elite, you're not like soft, butty, mm, buttered bread mm, yeah. um, from the ghetto. person, but you still have this art stuff? How, how, how has that journey been like for you? Okay, it, it has been challenging uh, mm. because, not really challenging, I know how to express myself at every point. Mm. Uh, right. It's not really, it's not hard for me, but I, I'm trying to 
make it look uh, make art look simple and easy for everybody. everybody. Wow. Art shouldn't be for the elite. Shouldn't be for the rich. Because see, with colors, we like colors bring life to our soul. Mm, sure. So there are different things colors do to our soul. So you see, even that uh, conductor out there, that street boy out there, yeah. he needs to understand art. So mm. my art is for everybody generally. So that's why I, I focus on my message and I make sure these artworks are relatable to you and me. That's why I said. All right. So let's talk about sure, intellectual. Let's talk about intellectual property because look, in case you guys have not seen, you see this amazing <laughs> stuff from my hand that's by Slime Gita, <laughs> but. <laughs> Just imagine right now that I'm a bad guy. Mm. I go to my very good tattoo artist to go draw this on my hand. But this is your stuff, yeah. mm. right? The guy just traces all of this out. Mm. How do you enter intellectual property? Like, how do you own ownership to this? Is this something I can go and do? If you give me permission, I'll go draw and not yeah, sleep. Yeah, you see, some, some of the arts we, we create, we, we try to use the law to govern it in terms of copyrights mm. and mm. Other, other things. So we are trying our best every day. Mm. To make so sure. if I go do... What she just created on yeah, my hand. If I yeah. go to a proper tattoo artist and it does this to me, yeah. would you have a problem with me? Mm, for maybe, now. Maybe not me. Maybe if it was a whiskey, you did this on his hand at a party <laughs> and he goes to recreate this, yeah. probably in London, from another exactly same person, nothing, yeah, nothing changed. Would there be a problem? Uh, yeah, I cannot pay your money, so don't worry. <laughs> so for now, for now, not really, mm. uh, because mm. we are still struggling with that structure. Mm. So I can't, you know, channel my energy on that and start wasting mm. my time. I only, you know, redirect it and like, okay, yo, whiskey used my art for this and that mm. to, you know, grow the industry more, mm. push the industry further. Like, keep that relevancy. Yeah. That, yes, something is happening for this industry. So me, me, I'm free, sure. <laughs> Anyways, you know, let's talk about, um, you know, also the people you've worked with, especially in the entertainment industry. I've yeah. seen you do a lot of artworks for a lot of entertainers. I know yeah. you've done for World Best. I know you have done John Woo. Don <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you have all of that in place. And yeah. I know you, how, how lucrative is that? How supportive mm. is the music, movie, saying, you know, calling you to come and create a set, calling you to come and do a video show? How lucrative is that industry? How is it? intertwined mm, it's lucrative though but it's challenging also uh, because not everybody wants to pay you and you see what I understand I understand right now is that everybody wants free art mm. Paint me, draw me for free, or come and do this. I don't you know I'm doing so pay you in exposure. Or, you know, I'll pay you in exposure <laughs> value and stuff. But they don't understand that tomorrow you can give birth to a child and he's an artist. Mm. What structure are you building for him? Mm, so you have to understand that uh, uh, these people they need to put food on their table, they need to eat, this mm. is how it is. So I feel like that understanding is not, not yet out there yeah. for everybody. And I'm trying to I'm, I'm differentiating myself properly so that people can understand and see that value. But trust me, it's going fine with every one of them. So, they, have, they have been supportive. What's your favorite? Okay, sorry, go on. Sorry. Um, okay, so yesterday uh, was a friend's birthday and he likes art and stuff. So I said, okay, yeah. let's go to the beach. We bought canvases at a, um, at a mm. supermarket. We went to draw and everything. And I was freaking out because I'm not a, I'm not a painter at yeah. all. Like, I don't know how to draw. I don't even know how to draw circles mm. properly. <laughs> but they were just like, just go into your, just go into your house, whatever, whatever. So... The message that I know I've always been wanting to like say to myself was be brave. So I just put be brave right. and then I drew around that and stuff. So, but one thing I realized there, yeah, like as soon as I got into that, that, space. that, that space, that like space. Yeah, it's not a beautiful work, uh, um, work and maybe you criticize it as a proper artist, yeah. but there was something about connecting to the to body the of work because it actually meant something to me. Yeah. Um, now, because I'm not an artist, I want to know if that's something that happens with every, every single piece. work that you have. Yeah. Do you always have to immerse yourself into the that work, work that you're doing. Just like or an you actor can, getting into character. Yeah, yeah. Or you can separate yourself because sometimes you don't really have to get that deep. Mm. You know, sometimes I, there's some sometimes stories that know. I see on, on, on TV that I know that my heart and my soul is in it and there's some I can just rant and I don't even remember what I said. So I want to know if that's, if that's the same thing for you where like you put your, yourself into every single artwork. Yeah, I put myself into every single artwork. The, first of all, for me, an art is not the piece that you're seeing. Mm. To me, the art is the message. Mm. You had okay. you had a message of being brave and all, all that. That's yeah. that's the art. You, that's why you're an artist. You can put star whatever you put on it, mm. but the art there is 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 the brave, being mm. brave. So that's what someone is supposed to connect to. Mm. That's what's supposed to motivate so the, and inspire. That 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 makes your your work very deep. That yeah. what you're saying now is that all your pieces have a message, yeah, correct? Everything. Okay. So now, do you think that 
everyone who looks at that artwork see would the see same the message, message that you had well, in it's mind. a different message every time uh not really see people are carried away with the beauty and the colors mm. they're carried away with the perfection how did you do it it's mm. so real uh they're not paying attention to it but I'm trying my best every day. That's why you see the names of my art, they are not very the big for to yeah. It's something that you can all smile, big mm. picture, open heavens. Mm. These are the names of the art in mm. airplane mode. These are mm. things that you know already around you, fearless. So I like to, you know, put the message, put in, the the message name. in the name yeah. so that from it there you understand you. That's what I do to people. All right, people. so, um, you know, my favorite piece of yours, um, I don't know, from the also collection, yeah. I don't know about her, is the little boy with the lion. Yeah. The lion was so fierce and the little boy was so calm. That's that's what was it. that message? That's Did that's I get the message? You, you got to right. You got to perfect. That's, that's fearless. Mm. Oh, see? <laughs> that's oh, fearless. whoa, that's fearless. Because mm. he, he just explained it. Because the little boy was so calm. So calm. Like he, the, His hands were not showing, but it yeah. looked like he had a leash to the lion. Yeah. Do you understand? I didn't need to see the leash to see that he was in charge, was in charge. of the situation. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So that's really amazing. And man, big shout out to you. But you know, we're running out of time. And definitely, <laughs> you know, a lot of people have seen your works. I'm yeah. sure one big man is watching like, ah, wait till this, wait till this, wait till this one, wait till this art work they do. Come on, Tom, come on, Tom, slide, they can't work today. <laughs> so please, yeah, tell yeah. us where, where people can, can find, find you. you, you know, where people can connect with your jobs, Absolutely. you know, if you have an, a, 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 a physical office and all of that, please throw all of that out there. Yeah, you, you, you can reach out to me on all my social media platforms, yeah. Slime Megida, uh, just Slime Megida. Mm. I also have a, a personal website, www.slimemegida.com, mm. so you can reach out to me on any of this, my personal website and also my social media platform. Alrighty. Alrighty, man. Thank you, guys. Yes, Thank let's stay so fearless. Much. And yes, that's how we call it a wrap for me today. But thanks for watching. Join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time. Remember, you can join the conversation, um, you know, on social media with the hashtag Tea Time and catch up on our previous episodes, including this one and all our exclusive contents by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. You can also watch Tea Time on Alta TV and, of course, in London on Ben television. A big, big thank you goes out to my co-anchors, um, Ife Omai, and of course, Neymar, who had to step down due to social distancing, <laughs> and of course, my studio guest, the artistic, the great one, in case you guys are wondering where I got my white tattoo <laughs> from, is by Sly Megida, and in Sly case you want to get this done, you know, I'll let you, boy, yes, this is our, our Star Wars beauty. <laughs> you get me? Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa, Sita. My name is Ife Oshunkeye. Let's go.